Welcome to Uncaged Zoo Tours. If you are new to the channel and love animals, I recommend and appreciate hitting the like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to join me on my tours. My friends, it's been over a year, but we are finally heading back to my hometown zoo, the Birmingham Zoo. Since I have a lot of new friends here, let's go through a little recap. We went to the Trails of Africa, Alabama Wilds, had lots of fun in their primate South America building, took a quick look at their Flamingo Lagoon, and showcased their reptile collection. That's a lot of tours! What are we going to see today? We're heading to one of the zoo's newest additions. When Trails of Africa opened in 2011, this area once had white rhinos, but unfortunately, the zoo's white rhino breeding program failed and the rhinos were transferred to a private facility, and replacing the white rhinos in early 2023 were black rhinos. How are black rhinos different from other rhinos? Unlike the white rhino, the black rhino is a browser, which means they eat high-growing vegetation from trees. I thought you were talking about a computer or someone looking through a store. Those are all the same words, but they have a different meaning. Before this tour becomes an English lesson, black rhinos get their name from the dark soil it uses to wallow in the mud. Besides, all black rhinos are gray, not black and white. Now this video is turning into an art video. Black rhinos are also known as hook-lipped rhinos because of their beaky lip, which helps them browse for food. Despite their plant-based diet, black rhinos can charge when someone surprises them or if it's someone that they don't recognize. They may have poor eyesight, but they have great smelling and hearing. Unfortunately, like other rhino species, black rhinos are in danger due to poaching. Those two horns are made of keratin, the same material our hair and nails are made of, but it provides no medicinal value. That and these poachers are illegally hunting these black rhinos for money. I'm not sure if I want a keratin horn as a birthday present, but zoos are playing their part in saving these endangered pachyderms. The Birmingham Zoo is home to two black rhinos. Moyo came from the St. Louis Zoo, and Kezi came from the Pittsburgh Zoo. The last black rhino who lived at the zoo was Rico, who lived at the Birmingham Zoo from 2003 until 2009, before he was transferred to the Lincoln Park Zoo, where he lived until he died in 2022. With their arrival, Moyo and Kedzi are the zoo's first black rhinos in 15 years. Oh, and how could I forget the other new addition? Primate Trek opened with the rhinos as an outdoor exhibit for the zoo's the Brazos monkeys. We've met them in my primate South America at the Birmingham Zoo tour, but all primates are great to see at any zoo. But the monkeys already have an exhibit. I'm really confused. This is an example of a flex habitat. A flex habitat is two or three habitats connected. When the animals are tired of living in one space, they can head to the other. Sometimes, keepers take the animals to their indoor quarters and train them to get to the other habitat. Animals have different needs and personalities than we do, and sometimes, they can be reluctant to follow commands from their keepers. In the case of the Brazos monkeys, they don't get along with other animals as they are very territorial. But they do get along with Colobus monkeys, but I'm not sure if they can get along with their porcupine roommates. I'm pretty sure they won't! And that wraps up another great tour at the Birmingham Zoo. If you plan to visit the Birmingham Zoo, I recommend checking out this area and the rest of the Trails of Africa section. My friends, which Birmingham Zoo exhibit would you like to see next? Would you like to meet our first secretary birds, 
crazy lorikeets, sea lions, and the rest of the zoo's bird collection at the zoo's aviary, we could also head into the Predator Building and witness the return of the Red Panda, Coyotes, and Palace Cats. Our final option is a quick visit to see one of the world's largest otters, the Giant Otters. Today's question is, have you seen any brand new exhibits at a zoo or aquarium? As always, thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching!